Hi, this is Robert Tube. Today on Hunter Classic, we're going to be taking part in the Summer Fiesta 2023. And we've got lots to cover, so let's get on with it. For the next four weeks, the HR is celebrating its annual Fiesta. That's three mission packs, easy, medium, hard. You know how hard the hard ones can be. The long competition that runs for the whole four weeks and something special this year for the comps. There are 11 competitions this year. No tears, each written by a content creator. I've got my own weapon. I'm not going to say much about it, but I've designed it. You can sort of see it in my hands. The winner of each comp, along with the EMS and trophy, will win a snazzy new weapon skin for the named creator. The weapons will be available in the store after the Fiesta, but take your chance to get hands on one early and free. Participate for the prizes, the trophies and the glory. This event is going to work a bit differently, so read on for the skinny. So I'm just reading out the notes basically they've given me. Um, this is a big event. Summer Fiesta is always massive in Classic. So it's great to be taking part in it. And the community loves it in the Hunter Classic. It really is a big deal and we always look forward to it in summer. While we're considering this as an event, it isn't going to function like one. There are no special points to collect. No fancy banner and calendar. Activate your missions for the mission page and your comps from the competition page as you normally would. All three mission packs will be available for the duration, but they do have dependencies. So you can't start with the hard pack and work backwards. You have to, uh, you have plenty of time basically, and you've got to start from the easy and then work your way through them that's basically what it is but don't waste it and remember it's called a hard pack for a reason we all know they're always hard in this summer fiesta it's supposed to be a hard if you don't like that stick with the other two so you can do the easy ones you can do the medium ones and then you've got the hard ones the hard ones are super hard they always have been and uh people still love them because uh in hardcore well classic i should say we do like hardcore <laughs> It's just like we like the game, uh, so it's going to be a challenge, basically. The creator comps last four days each, and a new one starts every two days. You'll have a couple of days clear at the end to pick up any animals you're missing for missions along the comp. We're doing an easy one at the minute, because we've got to start at the easy one. Basically, what we've got to do is I've got to shoot an elk, no scoped through the lung, heart, with no bones. So that's what we're trying to do at the minute at Red Feather. Speaking of the Mega Saver comp, runs for four weeks. You have 30 attempts, but one of the new animals will be added every few days. Remember to deactivate the comp in between sessions so you don't waste attempts. We cannot return attempts to you. The system does not allow it. Highest combined score plus weight and harvest value percentage wins. To be eligible, you need at least one harvested animal of each species. Now, the duration is 30 days, so you've got quite a while. It's going to be a challenge, but a lot of fun. Starts from the 26th of July in the morning, and it ends on 22nd of August. So that's what I've got data wise, what I've been given. So you've got a month basically to do this. So a lot of fun, a lot of challenges. The hard pack is going to be very hard. So the hardcore will be trying to do that. Um, but it's a lot of fun anyway. And we love these summer events. Um, it's what a lot of the community looks forward to. And it's always really good laugh. And uh, hopefully we get what we're after today. So now I've basically got to get an elk in the heart, no scope or lungs, and we'll see how it goes. Now I've got a male coming in. Now, if you're a new player and you're watching this, Dartwood Lodge, Red Feather Falls, call in the elk, and then basically you wait. Now the key to this is advantage points get a good high ground if you can so you can see what's coming in obviously i've played a long time so i know roughly where it might come in from but you have to always plan from this and it makes the shot a lot easier 
and we're going to see how this works out. Like I say, I've not done no. iron sights for quite a while, so it's going to be interesting to see how this works out, but we'll uh, see it in a minute when it comes in. What's your hunting been like this week on the Hunter Classic? Let me know in the comments or the Hunter Call of Wild. Love to know what you've been up to, what trophies you've been after. Is there something you're struggling with? You want any guides making? Let me know in the comments. Always love coming back to Hunter Classic. It feels like I'm putting on warm slippers and I'm coming back home. Um, it's hard to describe it, but it does feel like that. Um, if you've played for a long time, you know what I mean. But now we're trying to call in elk. Sometimes they come in singular, sometimes they come in groups. You have to watch out because sometimes you can be calling one group in front of you, you can get one group behind you. Um, it really is quite sort of like, on the senses, it's sort of um, interesting how it plays out. There's nothing like it, basically. There's nothing as realistic as classic in Hunter games. Um, I love all Hunter games, but Classic sort of has it encompassed into what hunting is. That's hard to do. Um, it's not exactly a new game, but it's the most realistic hunting game there is, period. Um, it doesn't matter what anyone says, that's the truth. And people that play it know that. So as you can see on my map, my PDA... I've marked out where the call was coming from. It's good to do that, especially if you get multiple calls. Um, so you know which is closest. Shot selection can be a big deal, especially with the bigger trophy animals. What happens normally is you'll have the smaller ones coming first, then the big ones. But this is a mission where I've just got to shoot it in the heart and lungs without bones. So it's not about the trophy animal. It doesn't matter what size it is. But in a trophy hunting scenario or a comp or something you want to know which animal is coming from where and uh, it helps to mark where those calls are coming from so it's getting pretty close you can tell the bull calls from the females and that's what we're trying to get in a minute doesn't matter on the size but we're just going to keep bugling you don't have to do it all the time i just do one call it doesn't matter about the duration of the call either. Um, it can be short or long. But you just keep it going every now and again just to keep them interested and coming towards you. So he's very close. He should show up soon. Like I say, I'm positioned in... There he is. Uh, I'm positioned in an area where I've got the better advantage point over the animal. That's what you want to do. Try and get the higher advantage point a good visibility spot it helps with you taking the shot so you don't have to rush you expect where it's coming from and then uh, it makes the shot easier basically now it's behind a rock so not ideal <laughs> we're going to get a long and hot so that's going to be a pretty tricky shot <laughs> you got to move mate <laughs> you got to move come on so we'll keep calling him and see what happens Sometimes animals get stuck in between rocks and trees, so we'll see how this one plays out. So all what I've just been saying might not matter, and we might have to move. That's the thing. I love the Hunter Classic, because you just never know what's going to happen. It is uh, very random. Even with the best laid plans, you just never know how it's going to go. But it's exciting. That's the great thing about it. Because I've got all these things together, made it super realistic. That's why it works, and that's why it's been going over 14 years. So he's not coming in. We might have to move. I'm hoping he moves, because we've got a good vantage point. But he's not a big elk ball, but we still need to make the shot. No scopes, long... Oh, I've got the 300 on, and my new weapon, which I'm not going to go into yet, but like I say, I had fun designing it, the colours, and how I wanted it, it was great that the team helped me out with it, especially Avery. I was replying to someone earlier about guns and weapons when 
the Hunter Classic first came out. And I was thinking back, basically when the Hunter Classic first started in 2009, um, there wasn't many rifles or guns, but what happened was you was a warden. You still are supposed to be a warden anyway, um, of the EHR. And you had like a trial period of one month. And I think the 306, the 3006, as some would say, um, was the first rifle, if I remember. I know we got the 44 pistol, but I think the 3006 was one of the first rifles. But there was a funny thing with it. When it first came out, um, it used to shoot left. It was so frustrating. Uh, we didn't have a scope on it. And uh, I can remember elk hunting for the first time. Now, when I first started playing the Hunter Classic, there was like hardly any animals on there. Elk weren't even on the map um, when it first started. And uh, I spent days, I actually spent, I think it was like two days before I actually got my first animal. It was super, super hard. Uh, There's no tents or anything. So basically you had to start from the top of the map. You had to go explore. I think actually without tents it's actually better, more realistic because you have to go explore everywhere on foot to have to hunt. Your average hunt then was like two, three hours um, because you have to go hunt for animals and you've got to remember most of the animals weren't on the map so there's only a few species and uh, it's really interesting but yeah for the first few days I got nothing and I always remember one of my friends at the time, he started playing it. It's actually really funny, but uh, he he kept wounding animals, and it took him literally a week before he even got one. <laughs> but uh, it, like I say, fun times. But I just remember about the thirty oh six because some bas someone basically asked me in the comments today uh, about what guns were the first ones and stuff. So I'm not done this for a while. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Could have made it easier and got him closer, but he didn't want to come in. He is down. So maybe we've done what we needed to do. Like I say, I love my trusty 300. Probably the best gun in the game. If it was to pick my top guns, it would be a 300 first. The bullpup. Now, some people hate the bullpup because how it looks, but I do like it. But the 300 is king. Um... For me, it is the king. It's the best rifle that's ever been in the Hunter Classic. But uh, you might want to check out the 223 as well. Underrated rifle, one of my favourites. And that's going to be the one that you can actually get, win, and buy in the store soon. So here we go. We've actually done it. I can't believe it. It was messing us about on the rocks. I don't know if he got stuck or whatever, but we did this part of the mission. So, really fun hunt. I've enjoyed it a lot. Like I said, it's always nice to come back to the Hunt the Classic. Just get my feet wet. Get back on the preserve. Just enjoy myself playing. Sometimes I just come and play and I don't record because I just enjoy it that much. Um, it's sort of a special thing for me. This is where I all started at. A little fun fact that you didn't probably know is the elk caller, right? I used to do it when I was back in the day calling it when one of my child was uh, young. And he always used to like make the noise back to me. Because <laughs> he could hear me. <laughs> but yeah, one of my kids uh, really enjoyed it. He used to make the noise back when I was doing the elk caller. It is one of the best co uh, calls in the game. But there we go. Got our elk. Done this part of the mission. But as said, there's easy, medium, and hard. The hard will be a challenge. So the hardcore will be like, I'm up for it. But it's going to be a challenge. So there you go. We've been taking part in the Summer Fiesta 2023. Runs for 30 days. 26th of July to the 22nd of August. So you've got lots of time to take part. Enjoy yourself. Have fun with all the comps. Like I say, you can win special guns, which you won't have to buy if you win them. 
but they will be available in store afterwards you'll see my new one soon i uh, hope you enjoyed the video we've been playing the hunt classic i'm ron mctube please subscribe to youtube channels and thanks for watching bye bye